Now let us solve problems on equilibrium of forces. Uh, the problem number one is to determine the magnitude and direction of force P which keeps the concurrent system of forces in equilibrium. Okay, let, let correct it as forces. Okay, we have to determine magnitude and direction of the force P which keeps the concurrent system of forces in equilibrium. Okay, we have to find the, the value of P and its inclination theta. Okay, we have said that the system of forces are in equilibrium. Okay, if the system of forces are in equilibrium, it has to satisfy the equilibrium conditions. We, we know there are three equilibrium conditions that is sigma fx equal to 0, second one is sigma f y equal to 0 and third equilibrium condition sigma m is equal to 0. Okay. If a body is in equilibrium, it has to satisfy these three, these three conditions. So using or by applying these uh, equilibrium conditions, so we can solve uh, the unknown force p and its inclination theta. Okay. So as the system of forces are in equilibrium, so applying equilibrium conditions, applying, applying equilibrium condition condition sigma fx is equal to 0. What is sigma fx? Algebraic sum of forces in x direction is equal to 0. Okay. So before finding the sigma fx, first we will write the components for all the inclined forces. So whenever there is inclined forces, first we have to write the component in horizontal and vertical direction. So it is 100 root 2 cos 45 vertical component is 100 root 2 sin 45 we here horizontal component 100 root 2 cos 45 vertical component 100 root 2 sin 45 horizontal component 100 cos 30 vertical component 100 sin 30 horizontal component p cos theta vertical component p sin theta okay in the problem it is said that the system of forces are in equilibrium therefore i have applied the equilibrium condition sigma fx equal to zero so we will find the sigma fx and we will equate it to zero sigma fx means sum of forces in x direction so minus p cos theta, p cos theta forces in acting in left direction, sin is minus, minus p cos theta, then 100 root to cos 45, acting in left direction, minus 100 root to cos 45, and one more 100 root to cos 45, acting in right direction, sin is plus 100 root to cos 45, then 100 cos 30 acting in right direction sin is plus 100 cos 30 is equal to 0. So by this you will get the value of P cos theta, P cos theta that is 86.6 Newton. So you can call this as equation number 1. Now we have applied the first equilibrium condition, condition sigma fx equal to 0, we got the equation for p cos theta is 86.6 now apply the second condition sigma f y equal to 0 sigma f y equal to 0 okay applying second equilibrium condition sigma f y equal to 0 sum of forces in y direction is equal to 0 so here we have p sin theta acting in downward direction minus p sin theta then 100 root to sin 45 acting in upward direction plus 100 root to sin 45 and one more 100 root to sin 45 acting in upward direction plus sin 100 root to sin 45 then 100 sin 30 acting, acting in downward direction sin is minus 100 sin 30 Okay, so we have covered all the vertical forces is equal to 0. By this, you will get the value of P sin theta that is 
150 Newton. 150 Newton. Call it as equation number 2. Now we can solve both equation 1 and 2 to get the value of P and the theta. So squaring and adding. Squaring and adding 1 and 2. P square sin square theta plus P square cos square theta is equal to 150 square plus 86.6 square. So if you take the P square common in the bracket sin square theta plus cos square theta value of which is 1 is equal to so you will have some answer here on the RHS if you calculate 150 square plus 86.6 square and taking square root on both sides you will get the value of P that is 173.2 Newton. So this is the answer for P. To solve for theta equation 2 divided by equation 1. Equation 2 divided by equation 1 gives P sin theta divided by P cos theta is equal to sin P sin theta value is 150. P cos theta value is 86.6. P gets cancelled. Sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. Tan theta is equal to 150 by 86.6. Therefore, theta is equal to tan inverse of 150 divided by 86.6. If you calculate the answer, the angle theta is 60 degree. The angle th theta that is it is 60 degree. Okay, so to this we got magnitude of force P and its direction theta as 60 degree. Okay, so this completes the problem. Thank you.